you're famous for looking quite young. Yes, it has advantages in that it gave me an angle to talk about when I first started doing comedy, and it's quite disarming. Because if you walk on stage looking like this, then people don't expect certain things out of you, particularly if someone heckles or whatever, and then I really don't expect you to be able to come back with the kind of firepower that you can. The disadvantage is you have to spend a bit more time winning them over. Like in my, my new show, I, I still have to deal with it at the beginning, nowhere near as much as I used to, but I still have to have a kind of, listen, before we do the rest of the show, you've got to realise I am old enough to be talking about the things I'm going to be talking about. Because this show is quite opinionated at times, it gets a little bit political at times, and if people think you're, I don't know, whatever age you happen to think I am, but if people think that, then they're going to go, well, well this teenager has a lot of ideas. Where did you get that? Politics A-level, did you? And you, you kind of need to make sure they realise, no, seriously, I'm, I'm a grown-up. So far, so good. There's been no violent uprisings. Are you aiming to trigger violent uprisings? <laughs> no, I'm very much not this year. I mean, you know, previous years, yeah, you want, you know, whole mobs with torches attacking your castle. Previous years, I used to live in a castle. But nowadays, you know, I'm just in a regular flat and you know, I'd rather just go home afterwards and watch the telly, not have to battle them. It's been two years in the making because I was in America last year rather than doing my Edinburgh show because I did this telly thing. Last comic standing? Yes. What other things did you um, enjoy about America while you were over there? Oh, they're magical people. They really are. They are extraordinarily polite, nice, friendly people. And what's even better is they think we're the polite ones. <laughs> it's beautiful. Brits go to America, they have no idea that we are mean-spirited, arrogant people. <laughs> but we sound delightful. Hugh Grant's the perfect example. I mean, like, he's still well known over there for being caught being sucked off by some prostitutes on Sunset Boulevard. They're still like, oh, he's such a charmer. Oh, isn't he lovely? I wish he married my daughter. How was the experience of being in Last Comic Standing? You don't really notice it while it's happening because TV stuff takes so long to actually set up. Like, an episode is a, a week in the making. You do hours of interviews in which 30 seconds gets on the air. So you spend the whole time doing this thing. You know, it's not like, bang, you're on TV. You really get swept along. And I can only imagine something like Big Brother where they're being filmed all the time, how easy it is to make... You know, when you see people on the show acting like Arthur Cox, you think, how would you allow yourself to be filmed like that? But then you realise, if you're being filmed 24-7, you eventually just forget that the camera's there and you don't... You'll have that initial nerves when you go in there, but you very quickly get used to it. Would you ever go on Big Brother? Oh, God, no. How many times have you been to the Fringe before? First went in 2000, working in a... That was before I started doing stand-up. That was working in the box office of a venue. And then the second time was in 2002. That was as a performer with one of the worst shows that's ever been taken up to the fringe. That was me and three uni friends with, I think I was the most experienced of all of us with about 40 gigs under my belt. It was, and we just took this stand-up show up to this little room off grass market for eight shows. We got one one-star review in three weeks and that was it. But yeah, it's quite, I think it's quite fun looking back on that. You know, we had no idea. We were charging two pounds a ticket, so I don't think anyone was particularly ripped off. That's less than a pint. My show is at the Assembly Rooms, which is here, well actually more specifically just there. It's at 10 o'clock every night, and I want people to respond with a mixture of amusement and disdain.